Well, it's official. G-Fest 27 happened in today's video. We're going to cover everything I did at this year's G-Fest. So let's begin. Nothing much happened on this day. Just packed up for the trip. Also, check out my pelican. It is 3.32 at Wednesday, July 13th, so we are going to catch a very early flight because if you've been catching up with the news, you would know that a lot of flights have been canceling, so we think that maybe getting the earliest flight will get us to where our flight's not canceled, so we'll see how this goes. So yeah, let's head to the airport. Hmm? Wondering why we're up so early? You're going to Chicago. Miss you. So yes, as you heard from that short clip, we left at the absolute crack of dawn and we got to the airport around 4 in the morning. So after getting through security checks and breakfast, we got on our plane to take off. So enjoy some footage of our flight. Landing in Chicago around 9 a.m., we picked up our bags and made our way to the Hyatt Regency via their shuttles. Also in the airport, we saw this plane on display and also this Lego vending machine, but did not spend money on it because I had a convention to spend money on. So once we got off our shuttles and checked into our rooms at the Hyatt, we went out during our free day before the Godzilla-related stuff started to go visit the Field Museum of Natural History. And man, a lot had changed since the last time we'd been, but in a very good way. Got to meet Maximo the Titanosaur, Sue the Tyrannosaurus, and one of my favorite fossils, and got to meet one of my favorite sculptures of all time, this big fellow. Just standing in the presence of this absolute beast was truly something else. Not to mention the Quetzal is definitely one of my favorite all-time flying reptiles. So seeing this was like a dream come true. So after that, we were pretty exhausted since we got little to no sleep before the flight. So we headed back to the Hyatt, and that was pretty much it for day one. So this is it. This is where the main Godzilla event started, as for pretty much the bulk of the day was spent at the Pickwick. However, before we left, I got some sneaky footage of them setting up the panel and dealer's room. And oh my god, seeing them set up that place really made me feel home once again. But after that, we called an Uber to drive us there, and on our way to the Pickwick, we had passed the place we were originally staying for the past five G-Fests, the Marriott. So after a couple of minute drive, we made it to the Pickwick. And it was so surreal to see it again. So we got our tickets, sat down, and I decided to record some of the audience reactions, including mine. So enjoy the following clips. He can fly! So after the first double feature, we headed back to the Hyatt and got even more footage of the dealer's room, with I myself staying mostly in front of YMSF's booth to get footage of their prototype Zilla, Rose Form by Alante, and Gigan with no claw yeah. figures. So after almost being kicked out of the dealer's room, we headed back to the Pickwick to watch the original Godzilla and Ebra Horror of the Deep. So enjoy the following. Also, yes, I sound like a 40-year-old smoker when I shout, shut up. <laughs> 
Alright, so it is 103 or 104. Friday, July 15th. I'm going to go get some rest now for tomorrow. So yeah, tomorrow is the big day. <sighs> so weird to think that it's finally here. But I don't care. Let's do it. interesting surprise rain before G Fest. I don't think I've seen that in a while huh so it is Friday July 15th at 8 16 in the morning I just woke up and I'm going to go eat breakfast get ready and then I'm gonna go get my registration and then we're gonna go ahead into the dealers room with some cloudy skies for today it's kind of interesting I've never seen rain during G Fest. anyways let's go so here we are, at the first day of G-Fest. We get down to the main area and there's a big ass line. Just for registration. However, something happened. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Yes, you heard that right. My dad personally went up to the registration desk and started helping out. And I don't mean to brag about my father, but he made the line practically disappear in seconds. Like, within 45 minutes, the whole line was gone thanks to him. So after getting my tag, I got in the fairly short line for the dealer's room, and I was in within five minutes. And the first thing I did was get my two things off my list, the Wolfman prototype and the behemoth figure Wymasef was selling. So after grabbing those two, I just did some more strolling around the convention, taking pictures of cosplayers, buying some more things in the dealer's room, you know, that type of things. So after a full day, 9pm rolled around and it was time to go watch Godzilla vs Kong. And the amount of hype and energy that was in that room was insane. Just see for yourself. The second day of G-Fest came around and much like the first day, similar things happened. However, this day I actually found the model room in the game room. So I mostly just viewed the model room since I like to see what other Godzilla fans make.
and my god, there was this massive Destroy All Monsters diorama display. Like, holy shit, I don't think I've ever seen a display this massive and detailed in the model room, like, ever. And then my final thing on my list that I wanted to do, I went to the Crown Plaza. And man, it truly was a sad sight to see. Truly a ghost town. You know, after the success the Hyatt brought to G-Fest, I don't think the convention will ever return to the Crown Plaza. There's a tiny slight chance, but it's very unlikely. So I do want to thank the Crown Plaza for being G-Fest's home for all those many years. The Hyatt will carry on your legacy for many years to come. So after grabbing dinner, we headed down to see the final movie for this year's G-Fest, Terror of Mechagodzilla, where Tomoko Ai, I probably butchered that name, would be there to give her speech. However, I didn't get it on camera, but here's her walking up the side aisle. Bro, you think whatever kill pops is out there? That's big. footage I got for Terror of Mechagodzilla. So, here we are, on the final day of G-Fest, unfortunately. So knowing that we had to check out at noon, I got all my figures packed and 
Wait. Oh no. I still have five dollars to spend. Alrighty. I accept the challenge. So after getting my bags down to the main area, I went to the dealer's room one more time to get my final purchase. And for five dollars, I got something pretty sweet. But you'll just have to see it in the G-Fest haul video. That's coming up soon. After leaving the dealer's room for the final time, I headed down to the film room to end off my con experience with a cheesy kaiju film. And after that, we left for home. So, was I happy with this year's G-Fest experience? You know, G-Fest 2019 could have been better for me, but G-Fest 2022 made up for all of that of what I wanted to happen in 2019. This was undoubtedly my best G-Fest yet, without doubt. And I can't wait for G-Fest 28. And I definitely think for next year, I want to enter my own thing into the model room. And I'm thinking something along the lines of my own printed standard Bandai six-point articulation figure. So plans for that have been made. So wish future me some luck and let's pray it gets to him. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching my full G-Fest experience, and I also hope it may have inspired you to go to next year. If you do, I hope to see you in 2023. But with that, I'm Seismic. Subscribe if you're interested, drink plenty of water, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Peace out.